I want to see if your truth detector works. Well, obviously. Watch out. Is there a consequence? It's gonna happen. So this is Ryan's word, and he needs to be rescued before it's too late. Goodbye, Ryan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. That's why you cannot lie. Whoa. Daddy, you're up. Well, I'm next. And this is his dad, which I think he needs Michael. Stop it. Get some help. You see, I never thought I would talk about Ryan on my channel, but since his parents have gone too far with their greed and milking the poor boy more and more like a cash cow just to keep the money rolling in, we must save him. Spartax! <laughs> Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Ryan's word, let me fill you in. He's considered to be the richest kid that YouTube has ever known. Nine-year-old Ryan is the highest paid YouTuber of 2020 and you won't believe how much money his channel made. And to give you a sense of his wealth, in 2020, Ryan's word took home, well, let me rephrase that, his parent took home an approximate income of 29.5 million, beating out Mr. Beast and Jeffree Star back then. And with that being said, his most popular video hit 2 billion views. Boring. Yeah, okay, I know, but just let me get the records straight. You see, his estimated revenue is 100 million. Huh? Since Ryan started his channel at four years old. When I was three, I was watching other people, and I was like, why am I not on there? And I started my own YouTube channel. And so what is exactly the issue with all these TikTok videos asking to save Ryan and calling his parent out to let the boy retire when he's just doing toy reviews? Dude, this one is this one looks fancy. Okay. You see, Ryan has grown up now and so his channel can't really be directed to children anymore. Like no one wants to see a 12 year old, almost 30 year old boy prance around and play with toys on the screen. 999,998, 999,999, 1 million. Morning workout complete. Cause let's be for real, 90% of kids under the age of 10 would rather watch kid friendly channels like Cuckoo Mullen, Vlad and Nikki, or Kids Diana Show where they can see kids their own age instead of teenager. And since Ryan is turning 13 in October, a decent chunk of people will probably remember him from when he was younger, not when he was starting to go through puberty. While I head to school, check out this clip from Ryan's World the Movie, Titan Universe Adventure. Oh boy, don't ever let me talk about that movie. You see, every time you click on a recently uploaded video from Ryan's Word channel, you will come across a trailer for his movie called Titan Universe Adventure. Here goes nothing. Ooh, can I see? Watch out. It's supposed to be packed with clips from Ryan's Word, so you may think that the movie will show Ryan doing something beyond just animation. But you will be dead wrong. If you see the trailer, 90% of it is animation, if not the entire thing. And look, I get that reasoning. His parent, or maybe his team, must have started thinking that Ryan is getting a bit older. Thank you God! Thank you so bloody much! Now let me tell you about something interesting I found during my research. They still use this kind of cheesy intro that doesn't match who Ryan is or how he looks at all. Welcome to Ryan's world! Remember, your most important job as a security guard is to protect did you see the immediate tune difference there? Anyways, now back into the content, one of the other weird things I've noticed is that his views are going down so bad. This clearly shows that Ryan isn't a good match for his channel anymore. Cause less people now are choosing to watch Ryan's channel compared to previous years. And the reason is simple, he isn't a little kid anymore. Why will people watch him when they can watch channels with real kids? And the same thing can be said about almost all of his other channels. Take combo Panda, for instance, you can really notice how the content has become pretty repetitive and it's obvious that the kids aren't interested in watching the same sort of stuff over and over again. Also there's this channel, Gus the Gummy Gator, which let's be honest, it's been 7 months since they last uploaded. And you got this channel, The Kaji Family, and to be honest, this channel still pulls in some good views, but it's basically just Ryan's word with the rest of family members thrown in. I wouldn't say that this channel has completely wrecked, but when you compare the views 
views to the number of subscribers, some things feel a bit off. And last but not least, we got this channel, VTubers, which is I'm not gonna say much, but just looking at this lazy upload right here, it's obvious that it's exactly the same as one from five years ago. This tells you how bad the situation is. And so the biggest question is why Ryan is still doing this content? Like, is he being held at gunpoint to perform? What did he say? Now, the obvious answer you may say is Ryan's parents, because they are apparently blinded by greed and are using him as a cash cow. Whoa, it's a red titan comic book. I better put this back before it falls into the wrong hands. You see, if you had asked me the same question four or five years ago, I would have totally disagreed. Cause people who think that probably imagine that this kid is working 15 hours a day, being forced by parents to get the next video out. But in reality, it's actually the parents doing most of the work. Behind the scene, it's a lot more work than somebody might think. It is very time consuming. I would do all the editing after Ryan goes to bed, so I would stay up several hours. But the thing is, Ryan is now literally about to be 13. Therefore, you can obviously realize that he's being taken advantage of lately. Hey, Optimus Prime! Greetings. Convert! Like you just can't convince me that he's having fun anymore, acting like a 7 years old kid. And so at this rate, I'm afraid Ryan is going to be the next Juju Siwa, cause apparently she's having a rough time now. You can clearly tell she's older now, but she still wants to be in the spotlight. And it's really hard to watch every time she makes a public appearance. Set your brain, your brain doesn't work you, you you idiot you're honestly an idiot i don't know what's i don't know what's wrong with you now back to what i was saying i really think his parents are fully aware of what's going on they probably got used to all the millions of dollars coming in but now that the money has slowed down they are trying to squeeze every last drop out of ryan's childhood fame and don't get me wrong i'm not judging or trying to get them cancelled which i think it's already too late for that looking at the numbers of videos talking about the same topic all i'm saying is at the end of the day the only person who has to pay for what they're doing is Ryan. Therefore, it's not worth sacrificing what's left of Ryan's childhood and teenage years just to keep the brand alive. Cause trust me, when he gets a bit older, maybe around 50 or 60, he's going to look back at his old videos and feel really embarrassed. Not only that, he's definitely gonna get bullied at school if he still acts like a 7 year old. So with that in mind, I believe the smartest move for Ryan's World Channel is adapting their content with their age, similar to to what the royalty family did, who managed to find success despite their age, because their style is more like Mr. Beast content. Anyways, that's it for me today. I want to thank you guys for watching the whole video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.